Drawbacks of relying solely on dating apps for finding partners. Get your life together. The topic of using dating apps is possibly a bit more of a sensitive topic for some people. For those who do not know, Tinder and other dating apps are constantly gathering data based on human behavior, which is super predictable even though we all think we're unique in some way. We really aren't. And this is one of many ways how we now know for sure how the average guy works and how the average woman works on these apps. We can assume with a very high probability who you've gone out with, slept with, etc. Those who aren't digging into the data are missing out. The hardest part is not becoming jaded once you realize how this all, well, how human works. Let's dig in. Online dating has become increasingly popular over the years, with many people using apps to find potential partners. While online dating has its benefits, it can also have drawbacks, particularly for those relying solely on dating apps. Individuals who only use online dating apps may not make the best partners for various reasons. Let's discuss these reasons. First, those who only use online dating apps may have a limited ability to connect with others in real life. Many online daters prefer the anonymity and convenience of app-based dating, which can lead to a lack of social skills when it comes to face-to-face -face interactions. This lack of social skills can translate into poor communication skills and difficulty building and maintaining relationships. Second, online dating apps can be addictive, and those who rely solely on them for dating may become overly reliant on them. This over-reliance can lead to a sense of desperation and a willingness to compromise on essential aspects of a relationship, such as shared values or goals. Additionally, app-based dating can lead to a lack of commitment, as individuals may constantly be swiping and looking for something they perceive to be better. Third, online dating apps can create a sense of superficiality when it comes to choosing a partner. Many apps rely on physical appearance as the primary way to make connections, which can lead to objectification and a lack of emphasis on important character traits. This lack of focus on important character traits can lead to relationships based solely on physical attraction and romantic love rather than a deeper connection and genuine love. Lastly, online dating apps can expose individuals to scams, predators, and catfishing. Without proper verification measures in place, it can be challenging to verify the identity of potential partners. This lack of verification in the world can lead to emotional distress, financial loss, and even physical harm. It is important to note that online verification is far from foolproof and can be easily manipulated to misrepresent oneself. Verification is not a perfect solution, but it can act as a deterrent for individuals who are not serious about finding a genuine connection or those who are trying to deceive others. Another way to create a safer online dating experience is to encourage more in-person meetings early in the communication process. Apps could offer features that facilitate safe, public, and neutral meeting places for users, such as coffee shops or public parks. This approach would require users to rely less on virtual communication and engage more in face-to-face -face interactions, which would help build trust and create more meaningful connections. Ultimately, it's essential to approach online dating cautiously and use common sense when engaging with potential partners. In conclusion, while online dating apps have become increasingly popular and have their benefits, they also have significant drawbacks, particularly for those who rely solely on them for finding partners. Such disadvantages include a lack of social skills and communication abilities, addictive behavior leading to desperation and compromise, superficiality in choosing partners based solely on physical appearance without intention to ever commit, and exposure to scams, predators, and catfishing. To mitigate the risks, if you are going to use online dating apps to find genuine human connection versus a quick lay or two to five year flings, it is essential to approach online dating cautiously and use common sense when engaging with potential partners. It is also necessary to balance virtual and face-to-face -face interaction to build trust and create meaningful connections. Face-to-face -face interaction is far better than virtual interactions. In summary, relying solely on dating apps is not a reliable method to find a long-term or life partner. While some success stories may exist, these are exceptions rather than the norm. Therefore, it is crucial not solely to rely on dating apps, but also to be proactive in building genuine real-life connections. This proactiveness means taking steps to meet new people in various settings and engaging in activities that align with your interests and values. Developing meaningful relationships with people in your community or workplace 
Participating in social events and even trying out matchmaking services may be better alternatives to relying solely on dating apps. Building genuine connections in real life will lead to more meaningful relationships that are built on shared experiences, mutual interests, and values, which are some essential components of a lasting partnership. And that's a wrap for today's podcast on online dating in the digital age. We covered a variety of sources, including Kosiecki and Kuhn's 2016 article on young people and online dating, Sumter, Vandenbosch, and Lichtenberg's 2017 article on the motivations of emerging adults using Tinder, and Vanman, Baker, and Tobin's 2018 analysis of self-presentation and perceived personality on Tinder. We also looked at the impact of technology on lying behavior in online dating, as discussed in Hobbes, Owen, Gerber, and Gerard's 2017 article, and explored the linguistic traces of deception in online dating profiles, as studied by Tama and Hancock in their 2018 article. Finally, we examined the differences between expected and experienced preferences in online mate choice, as outlined in Lenten Fasolo and Todd's 2017 article, and the perceived threat of online dating scams on offline romantic relationships, as discussed in Timmermans and Courtois' 2018 article. Thank you for tuning in, and we hope you enjoyed this episode on online dating in the digital age. Be sure to join us next time for an episode titled The Pitfalls of Intellectual Snobbery, Beware the fallacy of assuming something is smart just because it sounds smart. And in the future, for more thought-provoking discussions on various topics. 